Hello Grade 9 Learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe at hit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video lesson. So ngayon ay i-continue ko yung lesson tungkol sa variation. Kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung uh, first three videos na in-upload ko tungkol sa uh, direct variation, uh, direct square var variation, at inverse variation, ay i-check mo na yung ating playlist sa grade 9 or kaya naman i-check mo yung playlist ng ating variation. So ito yung fourth video ko sa variation tungkol sa joint variation. So, basahin natin yung mathematical concept uh, behind joint variation. So, it says here that in joint variation, Z varies jointly. So, we have here the word varies jointly that is, uh, will determine joint variation as X and Y. In symbols, we write Z equals to KXY. So, meaning to say na ang involved itong operation ay multiplication. So, K multiplied to X multiplied to Y. Or, it can be written as K that is Z over XY. So, same lang din naman yan. Nag-derive lang from this one. So, where K should not be equal to zero, that is called the constant of variation. So, let's have an example. So, before magkaroon tayo ng solving, so let's have the illustration of a joint variation. So, how can you describe or illustrate a joint variation with these two examples that I have given? So, we are going to use K as the constant of variation. So, the first one is, the area of a rectangle varies jointly as its length, denoted by small letter L, and width, denoted by small w. So, as easy as that, as easy as A to denote the area of a rectangle equals, so the formula in finding the area of a rectangle is length times width. Since it should be varies jointly, so, itutugtong lang natin siya. So, we have K L W. So, A equals to K L W. So, the next one is find the equation of variation where Z varies jointly as X and Y when K equals to 10. So, this can be written as Z equals to K X Y So, with our uh, original symbol for joint variation. So, we're in given yung ating k na 10. So, we just substitute it with our uh, initial or with our symbol. So, we have it here z equals so yung k natin ay 10 and then x y. So, that's how we uh, illustrate a joint variation or that's how we can uh, write a joint variation. So now, let's solve some problems regarding joint variation. So, for our solving, so let's have the last example. If Z varies jointly as X and Y and Z equals to 60 when X equals to 5 and Y equals to 4. Again, please take note of our given. Z equals to 60 when x equals to 5 and y equals to 4. So, we need to find the value of z when x equals to 3 and y equals to 7. Again, we need to find the value of z when x equals to 3 and y equals to 7. So, the first thing we should do for us to be able to find the value of z of course, we need to look for the value of k or our constant of variation. We're in, we have the symbol or we have the formula k equals to z over x, y. So, we just substitute all the given here. So, our z is 60 over x, y. So, our x is 5 times 4. 
and then simplify. So we have here 60 over 5 times 4 is 20. And 60 divides 20 is 3. So the value of k equals 3. So therefore, z equals our k is 3xy. So ito yung gagamitin natin formula. So z equals to 3xy for us to find the value of z when x is 3 and y equals to 7. So we have here z equals to 3xy equals to 3. Our x is 3, y is 7. And then we just multiply. So 3 times 3 is 9 times 7 is 63. So thus, the value of z, thus, z is 63 when x equals to 3 and y equals to 7. So I hope that you learned something today about joint variation again. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on our next video lesson regarding variation.